I think that every single person should be aiming to, I know this is a very animalistic answer, but we're here to reproduce. And I think the most important thing anyone can do in their life is have, to have children. I'm super pro children. When I speak to some of these feminists they're like, I don't want kids. I think you are the most miserable, stupid bitch in the world. You're, you're born with this gift to create life. And you think it's more important to eat microwave dinners and make 40 grand a year and talk about your career. You're an idiot. Why am we on the planet? We're on the planet to, to reproduce. And, and I think we all have lessons to learn and, and teach our children. And I think that's the most important thing we can do. I don't think there's anything more important than that. You're going to build enemies to people who don't like you or they hate you. That's fine. Because you can deal with that very easily by basically ignoring them. And you also ex know exactly what to expect from an enemy. An enemy is going, an enemy is going to attack you and you know how to deal with that. A friend, on the other hand, can betray you. And betrayal is much worse than an attack from an enemy for two reasons. One, it catches you by surprise. That's the first thing. And the second thing is your friend knows you well enough to know your weaknesses and knows exactly how to strike you. I called this virus a hoax from the start and everyone called me crazy because people do but the virus isn't real there is a virus yes is it deadly no is shutting down the economy an appropriate response absolutely not clown world and isn't it crazy that a government will mandate a small business owner who worked his ass off to close his company down and and force his family into fiscal annihilation Destroying people's life savings and destroying people's lives, wor life's work for a virus with a 99.5% survival rate. Do you not see how the elites play you? They stop mentioning the virus. Everyone stop mentioning the virus. No one talks about the virus anymore. Now it's racism. There is an elite club that you're not in. And none of them people are arguing about the dumb shit you're arguing about. So if you're looking at this race thing and you feel like going on the street and marching, blah, 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 blah. You need to drop that crap. Get your money up and transcend. You can say, my life is less fun, but I still don't drink alcohol. That's fine, I accept that. But to sit there and say, oh, I don't need to drink. I have fun without drinking. Then you're a fucking liar. Every time I meet one of these people who has fun without drinking, I think, fucking hell, I need to hang around with this person. This person has fun without drinking. They're permanently drunk. They're like, they must be hyper in their minds. They must be supercharged. And they're permanently ready to do some fucking crazy adventure and wake up the next day in another country with no clothes on. This person must be amazing. But instead of being amazing, they're actually the complete opposite. And they're just boring fucks who don't know what fun is. Depression is not real. Feeling depressed is real. Mm, so you can, feel, you can feel depressed, but you feel depressed. And that is a natural biological evolutionary trigger for you to change something in your life. That's that's your own mind telling you you're unhappy about X. If I went to jail today, I'd be depressed because I'm in jail. Right. I haven't caught depression. I don't have a disease. I'm just upset with my situation. Why am I supposed to feel guilty for destroying an animal so that I can grow when every single thing that's ever existed ever has destroyed something else to grow? Well, I'm going to come along and be Mr. Nice Guy, and I'm going to undo the laws of the universe. You think because you sit there and eat tofu that you're somehow changing the basic universal constants of the reality we exist within. You're not changing shit. You're a dork. Because this is the reality of the world. So when you're saying I'm a vegetarian or I'm a vegan, you're saying I deny reality. I deny one of the most basic fundamentals of reality, which is for something to live, something else must die. I deny that reality. Which is fucking ridiculous anyway, because plants, you still kill plants. Oh, but they're not sentient. You're still killing shit. So who cares?